You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hello and welcome to Lucky Mini Food. Thanks for stopping by the kitchen today. I'm going to make pizza for you. If you have any questions about the ingredients I'm using or anything about the set and the tools that I use in the video, look in the description. I'll have all your information there. Now this is a preset pizza dough mix. So I don't have to add any yeast or oil, it's all in the dough, but you do need to use warm water or hot water. And we'll see if we get the right consistency. If it's not, you can add a little more water or adjust. But once you get the dough to the consistency you want, then you cover it up, put a little oil around it, and then let it sit for five to 10 minutes in a warm spot. I usually like to leave it right next to the oven because the oven's on right now so I feel the heat then after this I'm gonna prep some vegetables and get them ready for my pizza sometimes I pre-cook them before I put them on kind of gives a little bonus flavor okay this looks pretty close let me get my fingers in there a lot of times it's always good to just feel the dough yes it's nice it's got a nice consistency to it Trying to pick up all the powder ingredient there. All right, that looks good. So I'll just knead this a little bit, then I'll put some oil on it. This particular uh, mix doesn't really say to knead it much, so just get it to where you have a nice dough ball like that. Then you put a little oil in. Just put a little bit on top. All right, that's almost ready. Let me cover that in a piece of wrap. I'll keep this near my stove. I do want to clean up a little bit, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some oil in here to get started. I'll come back, get this heated up, and chop up some vegetables. I think I was going to do, I'm going to do a little onion, and then here I'll just do the onion first. We'll get that going in the pan. We'll sweat this all down. Add some green green pepper in there, huh? Also adds a little texture element to your pizza because the green pepper will have a little crisp to it. All right, now that those are cooking, I will come back. We'll just do a few more prep things. And then we'll check the dough and see where we're at there. I will be back in a little bit.
All right, as you saw, I started to prep my Italian sausage. I like to uh, cook that as well. It gives it a little brown on the edge. And I usually put everything on a little paper towel just to capture that extra oil there so it's not on the pizza. All right, let's get the pans ready and I'll show you the dough. We'll make the first crust. All right, I always put a little bit of oil on the bottom of my pan just to kind of keep it from sticking. I'm testing two pans today. I have a pizza pan like this. Oh, and by the way, here's the dough. It's raised up really nice. Make it a little bit bigger. So if it sticks to your finger, just put a little oil on it, and then you're good to go. Spread it out. Okay, there is pizza crust number one. pan's a little bit different. It's got little air vents on the sides. All right, I got to get my sauce, grate the cheese, and we are set. Okay, almost there. Now sometimes I'll put a little oil on top and then I'll move that around. You can use your fingers or sometimes just use your spoon that you're going to use for your tomato sauce. Well, technically pizza sauce. A little salt. Pepper. I think the last thing we need to do is get the cheese after this, so let's... Mmm, looking good. All right. Okay, let me grate some cheese. Then we'll get that on the pizzas. I don't know, do you like a lot of cheese or a little cheese? I'm sure, you know, we all make our pizzas a little bit different. Some people like a lot of sauce. Some people don't like very much. Some people like their ingredients under the cheese. I'm gonna put mine on top of the cheese. Some people like their ingredients under the cheese. There's just so many different ways to make a pizza. So this is just the way I do it. I'm sure you have your own way. It looks like that might be enough cheese. All right. I'll clean up a little bit here. Eh, maybe a little more. Let me do a little bit more. All right, let me clean up, come back, and let's uh, put the toppings on. All right, I think that's all I forgot to do was a little shake cheese on the top before I Put my ingredients down. Okay, so we'll make a meat pizza. Now the pepperoni I don't normally cook down. Sometimes I do.
All set. First pizza going in the oven. All right, here we go. Pizza number one going in. You will see a pan there. I'm using that to just kind of raise it up from the heating element so we don't get a burnt bottom crust. All right, let's check it out uh, every two or three minutes and we'll see how it cooks. Here we are at about five minutes. So I will check back in another five minutes and we'll see how it looks. All right, let's check out pizza number one. It's looking really nice. Let me move that to the top. And then I will switch to pizza number two. It is piping hot, so I definitely need to be careful. It heats up just like a regular oven. Let's slide that in there. All right, we'll check back with pizza number two. All right, pizza number two is looking really nice. The cheese is melting, so when I come back, I'll be taking these over to the table, cutting them up and tasting them. All right, here we go. First pizza is served. The other pizza is still in the oven, so let me just cut this. Now, this is cooled down because I had to wait for the other one to cook. Wow, that crust is crispy. Look at that. I wasn't sure at first. Let's cut this one. I had a my first cut was a little off center, so let's make this our first piece here. Let's get first this person. You know what? I think this one looks nicest over here. We'll move this one over here to this person. Let's get a little Coke. I decided to do Coke. I'm going to pull the other pizza out of the oven as soon as I taste this one. That might be too tight. All right, so let's taste pizza number one. Here we go. Crust is not as crispy as I like, but that's okay. Let's grab pizza number two. And this one is right out of the oven and still sizzling. Okay, so this is a super hot pizza right now. Let me do this. Let me use my tongs to hold it. Mm, this is my favorite. Ooh, better cut this time, huh? What this pizza, this piece just looks too good to pass up. It's got all the extras on it. All right, there's this one, looks pretty nice. All right, here we go. Pizza number two. I would say that was a success. And as always, you know. If you want to learn more about this channel, look in that description. Ooh, that's hot. Steamy hot. Look in that description. I'll have some links there. And until I see you next time, happy eating. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, Pick it up!